obviously there's been a lot of focus on um, Sato and Martinelli this season because they've been wonderful. And just watching Real Madrid in a week, they've got Vinicius and Rodrigo, and then you see City, they've got Maros and Grealish. But I just had the feeling that it's it's fair to say that your wide attacking players are probably up there with the best in Europe. Is that is that a fair comment? No. no? You have to win a lot to be there. So it's it's when you start winning, when you put the trophies on it. And is that what you say? Is, is that the thing you're doing? They know that. Into, they know, to be at the level, you have to win. And after winning, you have to win again. And after winning again, you have to win again and again and again. And that's it. That's what these guys have been doing for, for such a long time. Can I ask in... Leroy Sane mentioned in a book how you had been really important to him in coaching that position so that when he comes inside, you don't just sprint straight away, but you control your sprinting and you... You vary your speed to draw the defender in. Is, is that something? Do you recognise that as one of your ways of thinking? And, and is that something you've worked on with Bakayo and and Gary? Yeah, different kind of players. Obviously, those players need probably different coaching and different advice and 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 different way of doing it. Leroy was someone really special as well. That he came in an environment that it was straight away extremely demanding for him, and and he did really really well. Uh, and our players now, they've been more set, so uh, we play in a slightly different way as well, especially the way we play with our wingers, but uh, yeah. Can I ask a couple, um, Save for the obvious, what have you been up to this week? I was thinking you probably had more time this week off than with off. no Europa League. <laughs> um, it was half term, were you busy at home? Did you have to do a few domestic chores or anything? <laughs> I try to spend as much as possible with my kids and, and my wife, but uh, yeah, we had some time, but uh, but as well, we are focused, so focused on all the preparation that is happening now uh, for the for the last part of the season and, and nail it. And sort of staying in the zone, as it were, we, we when we get lucky enough to cover Wimbledon once a year, we always talk to the tennis players and they talk about how patterns are very important and having every other day during the two weeks, etc. Obviously, your pattern's been slightly changed. Did, is it, as a team, trying to stay in the zone? As a manager, how do you in, sort of ensure that... Because you're doing it with 11, 15, 20 people as opposed to an individual sport where it's just one person, is it? It's a bit different thing. It is for sure different. as well the amount of different cultures and nationalities that we handle every single day. But um, they have the routines. Um, we have our routines, they have the habits, and uh, we have to try to be as consistent as possible with them. They know all the planning, they know how we prepare the weeks, how we prepare the months, and they are so used to it. And finally, we go to Dan. Um, just picking up on the, the, the title race of 20 years ago, that last day, you step up for that penalty in the 90th minute, knowing it can go down to goal difference. How are you, how are you feeling in that moment, and how did you feel when it went in? When I went in, great. Before that, I don't really know what happened. Uh, I just took the chance to to take it, and uh, and it went well. But uh, but that's part of the the risk and rewards when when you make big decision in in important moments. And um, and it's I think the most beautiful thing in football to have the opportunity actually to to win things that should bring excitement and that have to bring you alive because it's is there and now I want it and it's how much you want it. But how confident are you that? in that kind of moment, if it comes down to that kind of moment, your players have got the same coolness, coolness that you had in that moment. They are much better than me, so <laughs> I, I am confident that they would be better. But why? Why? Mm. Because I have full trust in them and they have given me every reason to believe that uh, they are ready to do that. And at some stage when the opportunity comes in, they're going to take it. Can I just ask one more, um, I know it was talked about last week, but um, you signed a, a new contract about a year ago to take it to 25. Have there been any um, talks about extending it further? No. What, what would be the appropriate time for that? The appropriate time is now to focus on, on winning as many games as we can to, to achieve what we want.